I am terrified and so excited right now. I've wanted to have a YouTube channel for a long time, but fear of what other people would think has been stopping me. I know that people love to judge everyone on anything that they can. So here I am for you to judge me. I, uh, I am Stacy. My name is Stacy. If I've never met you, hi, I'm glad you're here. I'm 37, no, I'm 38. I'm a 38 year old mother of two, multi-passionate serial entrepreneur with a gypsy soul. I used to own a fitness studio and then I owned a yoga studio and then I had an online clothing company and then I kind of just took some time off. My husband and I have moved 30 times in the last 15 years and in the last four years, we've lived at Big White in Kelowna, Costa Rica, and now we're in Whistler. So we've just kind of landed. And my daughter, my youngest daughter, just started kindergarten last week. And some of the moms were like having moments at drop off and they were, you know, getting emotional. And it was just, it was a big thing for them. And I was like, bye Taylor, have fun at school. I am so ready for this. I'm so excited to like get back to doing stuff for myself. So I'm just gonna jump into today's video. Um, I wanted to talk about what is harder, being a stay-at-home mom or a working mother, and I feel highly qualified to speak on this subject because I've been both. Um, and if you don't want to watch the whole video and just know right away what the answer is, I'll tell you, and the answer is whatever you're doing is harder because it's human nature to believe that the grass is greener on the other side. Maybe you're a working mom and you think that being a stay-at-home mom would be so much easier. And maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you think that the working mother probably enjoys her life more. When the truth is that it's just hard. So if you're a working mom, you are, oof, you're like organizing childcare, daycare, playdates, sports activities, you're packing all the time, you're unpacking all the time, you are probably not killing it at your job, you probably don't feel like you're killing it as a mother, and you're probably not killing it as a wife either. So you're feeling very spread thin. Um, there's always more things to do than there is time in a day. And doing it all and being you know, successful at it all to a high level, being a mom, having a career, and having a husband is like trying to stay dry in the shower. It's impossible. On the other hand, being a stay-at-home mom, you also drown, but it's a different kind of drowning. Being a stay-at-home mom, you will actually forget that you're a human being that has needs and used to have interests. And chances are that when your kids go back to school, you're gonna be like, who am I? Um, so yeah, it's hard either way. And I would just like to address, there's a third kind of option here and I'm not going to go super in depth about it, but I would like to just share this so that you know that like, I see you, if you are an entrepreneurial mother, I know that your kind of drowning is slightly more serious than the working mother's drowning because entrepreneurs don't really get to clock in and clock out. You're going to have to deal with situations at all times a day, in all kinds of scenarios, and you have no choice. When you're an entrepreneur and things need to be dealt with, doesn't matter what your kids are up to, you're gonna have to go, you're gonna have to do it. So being an entrepreneur is kind of like extra hard, but also falls into the same category because you're gonna think that the other two categories are easier, but then if you get put in those other two categories, you're gonna actually think that the other one is easier because because it's all hard and you know what having kids is amazing yes and some people say that they wouldn't trade it for the world but i think that if charlie hunnam showed up today and was like hey babe do you want to come with me and travel the world and go wherever you want whenever you want that i might consider it so whether you are a working mom or a stay-at-home mom or a mom who's an entrepreneur I am making this video to let you know that being another kind of mom isn't gonna be easier because being a mom is hard. That's it. Anyways, 
I'm super excited. I am super excited for my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. I feel like I'm being reborn. Um, you can like this video, you subscribe to my channel, you can share it with your friends. Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. And if you're wondering what's the point of this video is there is no point. What's the point of life, right? I just hope that you find them entertaining, educational, inspiring. I come from a background of health, wellness. I'm super interested in uh, like neuroscience, consciousness, positive psychology, anything really that is gonna make your life better. And I really love to share things that have made my life better. So realizing that the grass wouldn't be greener on the other side and just being a mom, period, is hard. Made my life better. And um, yeah, I hope that you like this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Hope you come back next time. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you later.